Well, howdy everyone. Boy, it's uh, it's a mess in here. I gotta start taking care of some stuff. Hey, would you believe that in the very same room, I have the biggest and the smallest Massey Ferguson tractors built in the early 70s. Not only on the same property, but in the same room. <laughs> well guys, I gotta, speak in a room, make some. Let's get those stupid things out of here today. Well guys, so here's what's going on at the current moment. Still got to work out of here for right now. I got my spot all flattened out, ready to go. Got her all marked. But being that the weather looks like this in the daytime and it's about 25 at night, the concrete guy said, let's just wait for it to warm up a little bit because that's what we should do. Well, who am I to argue with him? I'm not a concrete guy, so... There we go. But I still got to get stuff done, guys. I can't just sit around and wait. I got the patience of a pit bull, so let's get something done, shall we? I haven't gained any ground on this yet. Still waiting for the cylinder, but I know that guy's busy right now. So, hey, it'll get here when it gets here. Maybe I have more patience than I thought. It's a tough road to hold, guys. You want to have stuff done right now, but you got to be patient. What are you going to do? Well, let's just set that guy right there. Yeah, we'll set this guy. That looks, hey, good enough for me. I think what I'm going to do, guys, since I don't have enough room in there at the moment, I might as well just work on stuff outside right now. I'll take my old auger, where, being that it's out here, I can actually slide the old flutes, that's what you call it, the auger part of the auger, out of the tube. Get all the goodies knocked off of that thing, and then we'll throw that in a scrap pile. We'll bring the new tube out here and just kind of, you know, just throw everything back at it. I don't have a better plan, so that's what's going to have to happen. Hold still. Well, that might work. Let's see if I can do this without it falling off of that side. Yep. There we go. Nothing to it. Yep. JT's Barn and Grill. Coordinated chaos since the year 2020. That's me. All right, let's call that bolt on the end there an inch and an eighth. Yep, that bearing is in real bad shape. I would expect nothing less. I'm gonna put this in a real safe spot where it won't get lost. Okay, now let's see if I can get this out of here by myself. Yeah, nothing to it. We'll just set that right here in the mud. All right, well, that wasn't so bad. He's the worst of it's over. You stay put now. Well, let me get this collared piece of junk out of here. Hey yeah, guys, like I said, this is, well, this thing's had it. There ain't no, she's done. I gotta go buy a new one of these. I mean, I probably could put it back in, but there is a degree of how cheap I will go. And that is just before that stops. Okay, now I gotta get this all off of here. Again, looks like nothing to it, just zap the bolts out. You have to be sure I get it clocked right when I put it back together. Yeah. 
Well, don't you know, there's a carriage bolt on every one of these. And they are absolutely all round. Oh, well. Wouldn't expect it any other way. So that means I'm going to have to basically cut all these off. Because that's what I wanted to do this morning. Oh, well. Guys, it's just how things go. A job that should have been so simple. And just like that. Okay, so I have to remember when I put this back on. Maybe I just bring the other tube right out here before I forget. <laughs> Not that that's ever happened to me, but you know, just just in case any of you guys forget where it goes, you know, I'll bring it out here. That way I can just put it right on one off. You know what I mean. Okay. Let's see him. We're all done here. Well, I got a feeling that's going to spin way better than it did in there. Way better. Need to make a little list. I need 5 16 carriage bolts. Eight, might as well replace those. Let's go with 11 of those. A bearing, paint, beer. Can't forget the beer. Give me a few minutes to satisfy that list. I'll be right back. And now, before the next show starts, let's enjoy an intermission. You'll find our snack bar chock full of good things to eat and drink. Well, might as well get this thing into the scrap pile. Well, guys, here we are a few minutes into the future. Boy, the flies just came out of nowhere today. Eat me, the flies. So, here's what happened. I've got lots of bolts. Of course, the old bearing here that I need kind of more than most anything else. Well, that's putting me on hold. So I thought, meanwhile, while I'm waiting for that, I might as well get a coat of paint on this thing. Now, uh, since the bearing is going to cost me more than the auger did for the most part, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I gotta watch what little budget I have left. So, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my dual action choom choom sander, rough this up with some 220. I went and picked up the very best $26 paint that Tractor Supply had to offer, and I'm gonna put some paint on that thing. <laughs> stuff off it here. There. Give that a wipe down. And then uh, for this job today, guys, we're going to bust out the good tools. Let me show you what I got in mind. Well, friends, we're all wiped down. Still got a thousand. There's going to be a lot of flies in this. I mean, come on, guys. If I'd have known the flies were going to be this bad, I'd have showered yesterday. I mean, Jesus, Murphy. 
Nevertheless, I got some green paint. I got this all wiped down. Let's get this part done while I'm waiting on the other parts to show up. Guys, we are kicking it old school today. I busted out my old Optima, and this is an antique. But I tell you what, back in the day, it was this was a top of the line. I mean, Optima is a great name in spray guns, and this was probably one of the best you could get. This spray is just as good as any of the 3M HVLP guns I have now. Just makes a little bit more mess doing it. So I'm going to shut that door the rest of the way and uh, give him a zing here. There, one good power coat of green paint. That's uh, not terrible. Definitely better than it was when I started. Now we'll just let that sit there and dry for an unlimited amount of time. And we're back, guys. We're now a day later and a dollar deeper, but hey, we made it. I got my bearing. I got a handful of bolts. It's, I guess it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Looks pretty nice out right now, but I don't hold much faith that it's going to remain that way. So let's get this project done. There we go, had to gather all the parts there. Now guys, you know, if there's a way to do something that's not gonna cost me a skillion dollars, that's how I'm gonna do it. This bearing, nope, never mind that. So the uh, bearing that goes on the end of here through John Deere is like $105. Can you believe that? $105. So for $22, I made this work and it's going to be just fine. I suppose if this thing were turning at 5,000 RPM in here for extended amounts of time, I'd be a little more concerned, but since it's not, well, neither am I. All right, well, I suppose that's as good or better than it'll ever be. Better than it was, guarantee you that. Let's see how nice this turns in here. Guess that's as good as I could ever hope for it to be, so yeah, bingo. I tell you what, guys. That's going to be the shiniest thing on that entire combine. Almost gives me an idea. Like maybe once my new shop is up, I should go and buy a $69 gallon of John Deere green paint and just paint a whole combine. I mean, hell, I paint everything else. Why wouldn't I finish the job? We'll ponder that for a while. You know, it's nice that you can buy these from Tractor Supply in the pound like this. If I were smarter than I am, I would have put them in three different bags instead of throwing them all in the same bag. But, well, like Alanis Morissette said, you live, 
You learn. Yep. Oh well. I got nothing but time for a little while. There isn't a whole lot left for me to do than slap this on the combine, except for one thing. I did screw up somewhere here. I should have thought of this before I went this far, but you see how I got the pin on this side right here? That's the side that aligns into the combine. So if I go take my loader tractor and swing in right here, I'm already backwards. So now I got to use my super strength and see if I can pick that up, spin it around and set it back down then get the tractor out. My guess is, is it's heavy enough. Well. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm not wrong. It is absolutely heavy enough. Take a look at this, guys. Look who's out exploring this time of day. Fluffy. Hey, come here. Goofy cat. Okay, yeah, back to the problem at hand here. I'm just going to have to try and do this the smarter, not harder way. All right, close enough. I can swing in here and pick this up now. That'll be much more better. You find any field mice in the field? Huh? Do you want to go in the house? Yeah. That's just like you. Take off and all the work starts. You used to be a team player. That's one down. Let's get the other subject out here. I don't see why that won't start, but hey, stranger things have happened.
guys, that looks better already. Sure does beat the hell out of that old bent up piece of crap. Here's a picture for reference. I had to get a new keyway. If you remember when I did this the first time, I lost it. That happens. Well, only one thing left to do. Let's see if it works. Well, there's a success. Another one. Boy, it's been my lucky day. I guess it's kind of been my lucky week around here. Maybe even lucky month. Generally speaking, if I fell into a barrel of titties, I'd come out sucking my thumb. But boy, I tell you what, sometimes things just work out. Well, I guess that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I think I'm gonna roll this thing up in the yard while it's still nice out, give it the power wash that's needed for the last six months and put it back away until my shop is done and I can work on the transmission. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you next time.